Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video we're just going to go through um, Season 3. Uh, we'll have a recap of all of the different improvements that have been made over the course of uh, the, uh, the season, uh, the introduction of new events uh, and new rewards and everything else. Um, it's just going to be a whole, uh, whole recap of the, the full season. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a, uh, a survey in the description down below. Uh, if you go ahead and click on that, um, that link will take you to a Google Docs page. Uh, it's a very simple survey. It's about uh, four questions, uh, four multiple choice questions, and then one um, one uh, open answer where you can put in whatever you like. The results of these will be sent directly uh, to the devs. Um, it's got nothing to do with the devs. Uh, we, as a player base, um, have generated this survey. Uh, I think it's uh, it's good for people to express their opinions. Um, there's no reward for it. Uh, it's just making sure that your voice uh, gets sent over uh, to the devs, your thoughts, your opinions um, on the season as a whole, um, and any improvements or any changes that you think uh, might be um, relevant or might be helpful uh, to the health of the game. Uh, again, that will be down in the description below if you want to go ahead, pause the video uh, and do that, um, absolutely fine. Or if you want to listen to the full video uh, and the recap of the season, uh, it might remind you of some of the things that have gone through. So uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the uh, the actual uh, page here. Uh, so the the schedule. Uh, and as you can see, we can have a look at the, the Season 3 total rewards uh, on the, the Omni Dreams uh, Games website. Uh, so overall, um, over the course of the season, you do get one copy of Leandra, you get one copy of Nerissa, um, and I believe you get uh, up to four copies, well, uh, three copies or four if you bought the, uh, the season pass um, of uh, Halisa as well. Halisa, I think, um, for me personally, Halisa seems to be uh, the best hero out of the bunch. Um, I've not had, uh, I've, I've had uh, experience with uh, all of the the new units, and for me, um, Halisa does seem to be the most. Um, The most versatile, the most useful uh, out of all of them. Uh, Leandra has got me um, a little bit further in certain celestial trials. Nerissa is great in PvP, um, not too great in PvE. Audrey um, would be probably the best unit in the game uh, if Seraphina and her exclusive runes didn't exist. But because they do exist, um, it is what it is, you know. Um, it, people just go under shields, uh, and I think it's a bit, bit redundant. Um, to have give her a, a, a shield steal, which firstly it doesn't take the shields before attack. Um, you destroy the as as much of the shield as possible, then you take the rest. It's it's a bit redact uh, redundant or redactive, whatever you you want to call it. Um, but Halisa has really impressed me this season. Um, the fact that uh, over the course, uh, overnight effectively. Um, you, you've been able to change the way that the Grey Shrooms uh, functions uh, and she's a must-have in the majority of the teams in there. Um, she's a great addition and a great gift to the player base because you're going to get her at uh, three to four stars depending on um, what you've done, how lucky you are with the uh, the polls on the you know sort of synergy summons and the advanced summons as well. Uh, and whether or not you've bought the, the season pass, uh, you'll be able to get her up to sort of a minimum of uh, sorry, nine stars, uh, which is a really, really um, good uh, for me. It's it's a good gift to the player base, um, and something that I think they should do moving forward. I'm very excited about the uh, the new seasonal heroes, but I digress. Um, you can also get a lot of uh, different uh, items through here: the limited time events, the awakening uh, tokens uh, that you can get for Halisa. Um, and also um, a lot of different events on the schedule here, uh, including um, the new event arena, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So, uh, hold up, we'll go back and we're going to jump into the patch notes. Now, uh, we don't want the summoner and hunter schedule, and we don't want the 2.8.0, because that was technically 
uh, last season. For me, that was that was last season. Um, although it is good to review that they improved a lot of the um, B and uh, A class heroes uh, and moved them all into sort of solid A class heroes with that 2.8.0. Now, um, first patch that we're going to have a look at uh, is the 2.9.0. Uh, so, highly anticipated World Arena matches will start on the uh, 17th of May. I'm not going to go through everything, uh, but effectively, it's uh, the World Arena. Um, you should have been participating in, um, as uh, it is a brand new event, and it is PvP. Uh, so, you just go and test your might against uh, other players as well. Um, I know that I've enjoyed this very much. Uh, I've enjoyed being able to fight cross-server, which is something that I think they desperately need to introduce. Um, and they are doing it slowly over the course of, uh, you know, um, it seems months at this point. Uh, but they are introducing cross-server for Guild Clash in the next season, um, as well as uh, keeping the world arena going. So I'm able to fight uh, players like, um, you know, uh, Chrono Mirage. I'm able to fight uh, players like uh, Ad Cookies. If I was uh, strong enough, I'd also be able to fight uh you know uh some of the 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 top players uh as well it gives me the opportunity to do so um, and i think it's really great um it's uh, it's fantastic uh for the health of the game to give you something else to do um as well uh, and something else to uh you know fight towards uh getting up to that uh, supremacy um top slot now uh, added toggle relic animations don't think that worked the first time um and the second time i've not really noticed it i do like the the animations that are on um you know it, it just um it's more content for me effectively now uh althea has been added to the oracle shop and the exchange rule has also been adjusted after the update players can now use oracle coins to directly exchange hero shards for elmer christine and althea for specific uh exchange rules after the update please refer to the in-game information the fact that you can buy shards um, really did help me out i was able to purchase uh, a copy of gloria for only 20 uh, oracle coins because i had left over uh, shards from uh, season zero uh, and also i was able to get a copy of uh, althea as well um, and finish off um, elmer uh, as well which was uh, it was absolutely fantastic i think that was a, a good update i think they should change the entire oracle shop to that because i've still got loads of units um, where i've got shards for them uh, i think that need that's a must um, now bug fixes uh, elowin's awakening buff yeah El elowin wasn't great um, she could have just had her buff removed at any given time, um, but I think, like they've said here, uh, it, they've um, they've changed that up so they can't be removed. Uh, fixed a bug where some heroes are exiled, passive skills will be triggered. Um, so when the heroes exiled, that's with the season synergy. So mystifiers have it this season; they exile um, certain uh, characters on the enemy's board, but their passives would have still triggered. Um, it's a quality of life improvement and I think it's, um, you know, they've, they've done a little bit there, uh, especially with the update now. Um, the skin showdown, uh, that's the uh, for the, the world arena. Uh, whoever wins gets to create a new skin uh, and work with the developers from a list of heroes that they want to do. Uh, and now the patch notes, uh, 2.1.0. Uh, so uh, the legendary rune update so if you've got two legendary red runes two legendary uh, epic runes uh, sorry two um, epic runes you will get sort of a half passive up to legendary um, which i think has uh, has helped there the the overall health of the game um, i've been able to progress uh, a lot further than i would have had they not introduced this with certain um, uh, forgotten realms uh, forgotten lands uh, trials specifically with dorabella um, and also um, my Eudora uh, got a, a big power up as well from this because I only had two of her legendary runes at the time. It was really effective, really impactful um, and it was it was good for the health of the game as well I think. Uh, so the next one, notice that the current process of switching guilds uh, it's quite cumbersome so uh, it can't, it, they've they've tried uh, sorting guild management out and uh, chopping and changing guilds uh, without uh, delving too far backwards um from previous where you'd be able to just guild hop and build up as many points um as you wanted uh, over the course of you know a couple of days you would uh, be able to max out your sages tome just by doing that they removed that and now people were complaining that it was it was a lot more difficult uh, to change guilds if they were stuck in a, a dead guild um 
and they've they've worked on that even further now as well but um it's you know it is it is what it is uh, it doesn't happen too often because you don't typically find that um you know uh, people who stick around change guilds too often uh, but if you do want to change guilds it's now a bit easier and to alleviate uh, daily operational pressures on veteran players when gloomwood reaches one star crimson level we've added the planting and assisting functions uh, for gloomwoods uh, in the assistant feature to help players manage their game more efficiently so um yeah for me that was uh, it's it's uh, taken about uh, you know uh, two or three minutes off my time um really impactful stuff uh, because you know it's on a daily basis it all adds up you know over the course of sort of uh, 20 30 days it's two hours out of your time uh in those days that you get back so i think it's um a good a good uh, a small a small update but it is good now uh added gloria to the oracle shop yep absolutely fantastic uh it's good that they're adding new units uh, and they should be adding units um you know sort of uh, for the previous seasons now so i think um astrid will come to the shop uh ophelia will come to the shop and Elowen will come to the shop next in the, the next season's updates um, and also I believe it's Sandra as well um, I think uh, no Sandra was season zero uh, so it will be Christine uh, who who gets added to the shop as well now player feedback adjustments as as I've, I've you know I've, I've always advocated for this they do listen it's just having the manpower to be able to so the devs. I mean, um, it's just having the manpower to be able to uh, make these changes. Some are absolutely massive and take a long time. Some are really simple and take a very short time. You know, get your quick wins in. Um, so increase the, the level cap. That's fantastic. That was really good. I had so much of that Grace Room ectoplasm sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Um, and the level cap's gone from 80 to 120, uh, and various synergies gone from 150 to 250. Really, really good stuff. I really enjoyed this. And the fact that we've got something to build towards using those guild points now, uh, just gives more incentive for players to try harder in grace rooms, to try harder um, in various different like uh, guild v guild uh, sort of stuff. Um, it's really, really, really powerful. Now, adjusted Christine's attack type from magic to physical damage. You know, that is a player adjustment for your, uh, feedback. I know I complained about it just about every single time Christine was ever mentioned in any of the surveys. Um, I complained about it uh, directly to the devs as well. Um, you know, it's just... what It's a silly decision to make in the first place, but it looks like they've gone and, and changed it. So they are flexible when it comes to these things as well. Now, uh, these are the two big ones for me. Added Nightmare Difficulty, uh, chapters 28 in total, uh, so 28 chapters in total, uh, an increased Palace of Penrose to 10,000, 10, which is an increase of, uh, I believe it was 6,000, uh, oh no, sorry, 4,000 stages um, for Palace of Penrose. Uh, I think that's absolutely fantastic, especially for veteran players who've been going for a long time. You've had your, your 6,000 stages. The only uh, issue that I do have with this, and I will call them out on it, is the rewards are rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Um, please, please, please. Um, you know, can the, can the devs just change the rewards a little bit to make it more relevant? Or let us pick rewards? Or just just something, you know? Um, you know, I, I love this game, but the rewards aren't great. Really not. And... I say that because I have experienced it for about a year now, probably more. Um, now, adjusted the automatic transfer conditions for guild leaders. Guild leaders aren't log are logged in. Yep, absolutely fine. Uh, not super relevant. If you've got a good guild, uh, your guild leader should be doing that. Now, um, that is uh, that for the patch notes. Uh, for 2.1.0, uh, there is a rebate. Uh, if you don't know, you can buy Oath Crystals, which you can use to purchase in-game. Uh, content like the oath summons uh, like the um, different uh, special offers that are on uh, anything that requires physical money to be paid you can purchase oath crystals through the website get 10 percent discount or a 10 percent increase in the, the so say you purchased uh, 2000 um, oath crystals you would get 10 percent of that back so you get 200 oath crystals back um, which is equivalent to you know you spend 20 pounds to get oath crystals and you get two pounds back it's, it's okay. Um, I would suggest if you are going to be purchasing through the game, 
you do um, you do go through the the official store online on this website, um, and you can go ahead and uh, get a bit of a discount as well. So um, for me, very good. Now. Um, Omni Guardians, here is the final patch notes. So new guild merger function. This is what I was talking about before. If you've got a dead guild, just apply to bigger guilds um, to merge with them or go ahead and join them, uh, you know, uh, the, the bigger guilds. Uh, it's, it's good for uh, if, say for example, I've got quite a, um, I've, got, I've got about five rotating slots at the bottom um, of my guild. Every every day I'll, I'll remove sort of uh, five people from the guild. Um, because they're, they're over sort of two days um, so I, I, I kick them and then new players join absolutely fine with that sometimes if no new players join at the end of the day I can merge with another guild bring in um, active and uh, veteran players to the guild to start to help as well now um, world arena optimization uh, to enhance strategic gameplay players can now view more details about opponent lineups so it's just make it a bit fairer I mean, uh, the World Arena, they introduced the World Arena at the very start of the season. It feels like it's been around forever. Um, I, Like I've mentioned before, I really love the, the World Arena. I think it's really good for the, uh, the competitive nature of the game, um, as well as also uh, finding out how strong you really are uh, as well. Uh, they made it a bit fairer because there were multiple issues where people had multiple accounts fighting each other and they were able to progress a lot faster, uh, you know, losing on purpose and all of that sort of stuff. They were able to progress a lot faster um, with with their own personal multiple accounts. Uh, so they changed it up uh, slightly so you can see the uh, the start uh, or the, the, the two teams at the start as well as um, a reduction on how many points that you got um, when you uh, won. Uh, when you were challenged and you won so for me that is is you know fantastic they um, gave more information more information is always better player service information is now displayed in the rankings and battle logs battle results and logs now show the power of both teams yep and a uh, new replay button added as well number of save battle logs has increased to 20 that's great for, for content creators like me if i find a match that i want to record but i don't have time during the day can then go ahead and record it later on because the the logs have increased now treasure hunt event shop optimized the store interface has been adjusted to make find items easier i didn't particularly notice anything to do with this uh, an assistant optimized unset areas will now be more clearly highlighted um, again i've got mine set up as i like it uh, maybe i make a tweak here and there if i you know complete a certain set of resources like the ascension or remove all those out but other than that not for me retry button finally um, in response to player feedback we've added a retry button on the failure screen of the main mission lost city forgot lands palace panrose and celestial trials to facilitate easier retries that um i think that wasn't in there because there's a lot of uh, auto clicking going on um with with these events but uh, it does make it easier for players who legitimately are, legitimately are trying uh, multiple times in a row um and it just instead of going back to the main menu uh, it cuts out, uh, you know, a couple of seconds for every every retry now. Um, it's just a quality of life update, and it's you know it's it's not super impactful, but it does impact little by little. Uh, battle animation settings updated. Setting options for battle animations have been added to the game settings page. You can go ahead and turn off all battle animations if you want. Um, it's a very boring game if you do that. For me, um, it's just about the numbers if you do that. Uh, I I do enjoy the animations. Uh, I like seeing uh, different. Uh, animations kick off uh, hero conversion pool updated uh, this was really helpful uh, i've been able to get a couple of different heroes uh, a bit higher up uh, with thanks to this the hero conversion pool uh, i've done a video on all of this anyway uh, so if you uh, are uh, interested go ahead and look at all of the different patch notes where i've gone into it in full um, and sanctuary of eve interface updated uh, a new synergy filter has been added to improve user experience that for me is not particularly relevant i don't go in there unless i'm adding a hero uh, and then the bug fix uh, fix the issue with rune effect in the abyss crusade um, this was to do with uh, a specific rune um, triggering or not triggering um, i i don't know um, about this one 
but is a quality of life update. It's a bug that has been fixed. So they are proactively doing stuff uh, with it. And I'm not going to go into patch notes uh, 2.1.2 because uh, I've already done that uh, in a separate video. So if you want to go ahead and watch that, that's for the new season. That's the upcoming uh, season today uh, at 10 p.m. Uh, Central Time uh, or UK time. Um, and it'll go on to uh, allegedly two in the morning, but could take a bit longer. So we're going to get new season content out tomorrow, uh, which is why I'm doing the recap video today. Um, now, just a couple of other things. I'm just going to move back over in game. Um, we're going to go to season. Going to go to synergy slate, and we're going to have a look at these uh, season synergies just very quickly. Uh, the Void Summoners, what did I think of the Void Summoners? I thought it was mid. Um, you know, I've enjoyed the Void Summoners uh, with um, the likes of uh, Janna, Nerissa, um, and uh, Mavis. That sort of, the three the three units there, really powerful within the synergy. And as well, uh, Leandra, I haven't been using her on the Void Summoners team, just because I need her on the Valentus team. But... Um, in my opinion, I, I, I still think it's it's a bit mid. Um, and it, it didn't really kick off the way it was supposed to. Sure, your summoned units, um, you know, are a bit stronger. And your, your death and your summon triggers trigger twice. It's great, but there's just not enough framework in the game for this to be truly what it could be. You know, for, to, to fulfill its, its potential. Um, now, the Void Hunters... This was different. I absolutely love this synergy. This is my favourite synergy of all time. I really did love this synergy. Every time I'm in a normal event, like in Lost City, or if I'm in, uh, you know, the normal arena, or if I'm in Palace of Penrose, and I see Serafina's um, trigger go off, and I've not got, like, a Catherine on the team, you know, I just see it now, and I see it all go to waste. All of that healing could have been converted into... Uh, you know, attack and defense. Just give me, give me Void Hunters. Give me a unit that does the Void Hunter synergy. Just, just re find a way of putting this back into the game. This is by far my favorite synergy of all time. Better than Glorians, better than Monarchs, better than Strikers. You know, I, I don't care. If this was a synergy in game, this is what I would main. A hundred percent, I would. You know, having units like Eudora, Karnak, Seraphina, Catherine. La Chesses, uh, Elma, you, you know, the, the list goes on. This is just such a powerful synergy with the units that correspond to it as well. Oh, man, I, I absolutely love this, this, this synergy. I can't get enough of it, and I'm going to be sad that it's leaving. We do have two new synergies. Um, one is about switching. Uh, the other is about having, uh, you know, collecting uh, or, or having a, a big dragon on the team. It doesn't sound nearly as interesting as the Void Hunter synergy. Please, please bring this into the game somehow. Give me defense when I overheal. Oh, please, just you know, that's that's my thoughts on it anyway. Um, so that is the the, the season as a whole. Um, you know, I've I've done relatively well uh, within this season, uh, and I think that other players have grown and expanded as well uh, throughout the course of the season. I know I've seen my guild uh, grow uh, and the the players in there, um, and you know, we've we've all we've all uh, done really well so just wanted to say um thank you for watching i think the we need to keep the the momentum going and the only way to really do that would be to keep the devs engaged as well and make sure that they're aware of your opinions uh, and your thoughts on the the game what we're going to do is just to round things off we're just going to go and fill out this survey so what's my account level? 81 plus. Uh, what is my satisfaction regarding the recent events on Omni Heroes? So I've put this down as a three. And the reason that I've put this down as a three is because I know that they can do better. Like for example, Tides Cadence. We did get a new Tides Cadence. I didn't mention it um, in you know in the, the rundown uh, of what's happened over the course of the season. Um, but Tide Cadence is, you know, that was very lackluster um, and very uh, lazily done. I think personally, it's it seems to be just a copy and paste of last year. They've not updated any of the arts uh, on the the home page. Sure, we get two new skins, but where are they in in the actual arts on the home page? You know, it doesn't take too much to to do that. Um, you know, the the story corresponding with the actual missions themselves 
I know I keep going on about it, but you know, Porsche as a a sea beast, that's 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 just lazy. Give me give me one of the the other um, avatars like the uh, the bosses uh, from Abyss Crusade or from uh, the Forgotten Realms. You know, just give me a boss like that. So, am I happy? It's all right. We got two new skins, um, and I got a, a couple of good resources out of it. But me, not personally. Um, now, uh, recent satisfaction um, with the Omni Heroes update. Uh, sorry, the recent update in Omni Heroes. Um, for me, I've put four. Any update for me is good. Um, you know, they should be doing it a bit more consistently, uh, improving quality of life overall. But for me, um, all of the most recent updates that we've gone through all of the different patch notes that for me um is a four because they have improved a lot of quality of life and addressed concerns of players as well but they can always do more and um you know i, I understand there are you know they have uh, lives and families at the devs i mean they've got lives and families and that should be respected but you can always do more i i do the same in my own work um you know more can always be done which is why that's got a four What's my overall satisfaction, uh, satisfaction with Season 3? I'm giving that a 4. The, the Void Hunters, the new units, uh, the fact that Halasa was probably the most powerful out of all of the units released, and she was um, effectively free to play, that for me um, has tipped it up to a 4. Typically, uh, without those, um, and the, the World Arena as well, the introduction of a new stage, and the fact that they are addressing concerns, it's just taking a while. Um, you know, some people, they don't have the patience. They want it done right now, but it's not how game development works. It's got to go through the development. It's got to go through the, the test servers and then uh, through the official release. They may have stuff already done, um, but can't release it because they're, they're waiting on other stuff to be done as well. You just don't know what the inner workings are. So for me, um, my overall satisfaction of Season 3 is a 4 because they have introduced a brand new mode where I can cross server, fight whoever I want to, uh, as long as I'm strong enough. I've got different rewards coming out through the wazoo. Um, I, the reason that it's not got a 5, like I said in the previous response, is just because it's so much... Um, th there can always be more done. The, you know, you can always... Uh, tweak certain things uh, and and listen to the player base um, and what message would I like to send the devs uh, I just think uh, keep going really do uh, keep keep going with the the work you know um, and you know try as hard as you can that's all that anybody can ask is is you know put your best in because um, we we as players we spend our time we spend our money we spend um, <laughs> our tears sometimes uh, and frustration at those sweeps oh <laughs> Uh, but um, just keep going uh, with with what you're doing and listen to your player base I know the player base is mean salty it's um, you know it puts pressure on everybody uh, and it expects more all the time more 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 but you've got a good game you have fantastic uh, customer service staff who are very responsive You've got a good player base, not too toxic, not too salty. They like to help each other out and they like to figure stuff out so that they can send the problems over to you. Just listen to them. That's it. So all I'm going to do. So I popped that down a little bit, but I just want to say uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, if you've made it all the way through to the end, flip neck. Well done. Um, if you can like and subscribe, it'd be really appreciated. Thanks for watching. You have a good day.